embracing the real you. For 20, for 22 years, I used to care so much about what people thought of me. I used to let it stop me from doing things I wanted to do. I used to let it stop me doing things I knew I could do. But I didn't, because I just cared too much on what other people thought of me. And this was way before I spiralled into mental health issues as well. I was always anxious about what other people thought, how I looked, you know, feeling fear of feeling judged. And these are all very common feelings we feel. We care so much about what other people think because we, f we might feel embarrassed, we might feel they might laugh at us, we might feel that they're judging us, you know, for humiliating ourselves. And no one does. Only losers do. Because what I've come to realise, and it's taken a hell of a lot of a long time to get here. You, even at university, I, I'd care about the most stupid of things. How I was standing in a room, you know, to not look, to not look like a tear, to look, to look relatively cool. Although when you're overthinking about trying to be standing in a relatively cool position, you're not gonna be. And oh, what I realized that like, no one cares because Everyone has their own shit to deal with, their own struggles to deal with. So the last thing they're gonna be doing is worrying about what you're doing. So if you're scared to post a certain Instagram photo, think of all the other people who don't post much, like you might not post, because you're too kind of concerned on what other people think. You know, is it gonna get enough likes, blah, blah, blah. Who gives a bollocks if it doesn't get any likes? Who gives a bollocks? Because if you want to do it, you should do it. You shouldn't let people, people's sign of approval stop you. Because that's what Instagram is. That's what social media is with all this liking culture. We're wanting external approval of our lives, what we're doing. So when we don't get it, you know, we feel negatively about ourselves. But then why are we feeling negatively about ourselves based on something that, you know, other people, on other people's approval? It's a load of bollocks, absolute load of rubbish. And people just do not care. And the reason I say this is because all through my struggles, I've, I've just, I learned and going away traveling, I just learned that everyone has their own crap. And when, when you do have anxiety, you know, when you are worrying so much about what other people think, I mean, this is not being in like a, saying this in a sort of malicious way, but it's incredibly self-centered because we're so self-absorbed thinking the world revolves around us. Hello, who's tuned into my live? I cannot see who it is. But we're so bothered on the world revolving around us. But the world doesn't revolve around us. And those other people who are afraid to be themselves in the fear of what other people think, they're also having thinking the world's revolved around them. Every single person who acts based on how they're gonna be judged, how other people are gonna see them, it's all based on you thinking the world revolves around you. When it doesn't. And that may sound weird, but it's not. Because as I said, everyone, everyone's too busy to care, what you, to care what you're doing, to care what Instagram posts you're putting up, to care what, you know, what YouTube video you put up, to care what you're doing with your life. No one cares because everyone's got their own shit to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, you think of all kind of the stress that goes on in your life, whether that's family stuff, whether that's just relationships with your partner, whether that's work, whether that's your fitness, whatever it is. No one, everyone's got their own stuff and there's always someone out there who's got worse problems than you. So if you've got loads of stuff going on in your life, think of these other people who 
might have more, might not have so much, but you don't know that. You don't know what they're going through. So you'll go on the assumption that they've got nothing better to do with their life than judge you, laugh at you. Because the people who do judge others, you know, who do try and call people out, and they're, they're absolute losers. They're the ones who don't do anything with their life. They're the ones who actually think way more than you of, care way more than you what other people think. Because they want to be seen as cool and this certain image. But they're actually denying who they really are just to try and fit in. And that is human nature. That is human psych. We want to fit in. And it is important because we want to, you know, fit in with our families. We want to fit in, we want to have obviously friends, so we want to fit in kind of with our friends, getting on with groups of people, because it's important to have that social connection. But we too often try to fit in in the wrong environments. We try to fit in with people who have no significance on our lives. No significance. If we're thinking of all these people, you know, that we know or that we know of, or friends, friends that we know who follow us on social media, for example, because social media is a classic example. If we're, you know, with those people, we're caring so much about what people who have no significance in our life and I literally mean no significance because what 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 do they contribute to your life At the end day you've got your friends your close friends you've got your family yes you have your friends who you see you have a good laugh with but your real mates the ones who are there with you through all the tough times your family these are the people you know who you should only be caring about who bring significance into your life Obviously you want to care about other people in the sense that you want to be a good person, but not letting them stop in what you're doing, what, what you're thinking on how you want to act. Because they're going to be feeling the exact same thing. The exact same thing. And I keep using social media as an example because I used to do that for years. I used to very rarely post. So you say, oh, Alex, that's not a good photo. Oh, who's going to think that? And that's such a common thing. And that's really normal. But if you think about those other people not posting much, and most of my following was that, I mean, they would post here and there. What does that tell you? They're feeling the exact same. They're feeling they're going to feel judged, scared, but you're so concerned about what they're going to think of you. But you're on the same wavelength without you realising it. And then even these people, you know, who do care less, who are doing their own thing, they're literally relentless and not caring what other people think, but they're not going to be judging you because they've got this vision, they're so set on where they want to be. They're not going to care about insignificance in their life. If you see something stupid up on the internet, I mean, you laugh, you'll be like, that was weird or whatever, but you don't judge that person unless they do something absolutely ridiculously kind of screwed up um, or in terms of their, if they're like racist, if they're homophobic, all those sort of things, if they keep coming out with that sort of stuff, that's screwed up. So just to remember, you have to be the real you. Embrace your weirdness. So much better being weird and f fun and not caring what people think rather than just being a bit a bit vanilla a bit like oh what what if this happens what what if they think of me it's, who cares because we're going to look back on this our time and we're going to look back and would we ever really want to regret on you know us stopping us from doing things based on people who we don't know what they're doing now they were in our lives when we were younger but they, forever, you know, they could be settled out in Japan, living, living in the mountains or something. You just don't know. And that person who you cared so much about has affected your, your childhood, your upbringing, your, your early adulthood, or even into kind of your work life, you caring so much about that person. They now have no significance and you let that person stop you from doing things you wanted to do. 
because we forget that only us dictates our own life, but actually we let other people do that. The other people don't pay our bills. So other people, we let other people determine our happiness, but actually our happiness has to come from within, sorting out our own problems. Well, how do we do that? We can, we can reach out to people like therapists, you know, talking to your friends, opening up to people. That's how we can reach out to people for help. Friends who actually, you know who care. The ones who have significance. And that you see, you see so many people like on social media and I've met a couple of people where, you know, they have a, they have a following and you see them and you think, okay, that person seems, seems cool. And you meet them and they're so fucking boring. You're like, it's talking to a blank canvas. I'd much rather be with someone who has 50 followers and you think, okay, that, that, and you judge a book by its cover, you think that person looks weird, but actually they're an absolute hoot. They're a laugh, they don't care what other people think of them because at the end of the day, they're happy with themselves. And I keep referring back to social media because we live in such a social media culture of just giving so much of a shit what other people think of us and not letting our full personalities come out. That's what it boils down to. We do not let our full personalities come out. And that's really upsetting. And it's not just the case of watching a video and thinking, oh yeah, I'm suddenly gonna be like this. It isn't just like that. It, you know, it, it does take time to kind of help your mindset and your mental health and care what other people think. But a quote which is which is really gonna be useful. And it's that it and it is those who shout hate are those who need help. So the the ones and it makes complete sense because the people who shout hate, who troll, who kind of make nasty comments, they're the ones who need help because they shout that hate to try and make themselves feel better, to try and put other people down, to make themselves feel better, to get that dopamine spike and making themselves feel better, making themselves feel more confident about themselves. But deep down, they're hurting because when you have to put people down, when you have to shout hate to make yourself feel better, you have a lot of crap to deal with. And if you're in denial about that, you've got a long journey ahead. And the sooner you can realize that people who shout hate are the ones who need help, the more reassuring it can be. Because you get people kind of commenting on certain things and how you're dressing, and you get it in group chats and stuff, and whilst it's seen as kind of banter, but actually, you know, you do it to fit in, but you're actually coming away from who you really are. Unless you are generally a twat, then so be it. Life's gonna be crap for you. But you do it to fit in. People a lot of the time aren't joking. But that's that's low behaviour. Because when you stoop to that level, you'll bring yourself into sucking into that environment of shouting hate. And if you're shouting hate to people, you're needing help. And when you realise that concept, it's actually very empowering because these people who you see successful, you know, you see on social media just posting out what they want. They're not caring what other people think because they're happy with themselves. They've sorted their own crap out. Yes, they might have a lot of crap on they're going on their lives, but they've sorted their stuff out. They haven't got enough time to judge. They're too, they're doing too much of a good job to judge what other people think. So just to summarize, embrace the real you. Be yourself. No one's you. Be brilliantly, eternally you. Because all these people who are stopping you from doing what you're doing, A, you're gonna look back and wish that person who has no significance in your life now had has had significance in your life. Like, you're letting them. And it's just because you're letting them. So just embrace the real you. Those who shout hate are the ones who need help. And you'll get, you'll get there. I'm still not there. I still compare myself to certain people in certain situations. But I'm posting on social media without caring, you know, what, oh, I don't want to post this because what do people think? Because over the years I've come to the realization since recovering my mental health that everyone just has their own crap to deal with. That's my last summary point. Everyone has so much crap to deal with their own life. 
in their day-to-day -day lives, their weekly lives, they have not enough time to care what you're posting on social media, to care what you're doing with your life. Especially if, you have no, if they have no significance on, in your life. But also, if, even if they do, everyone's still got their own crap. So, just remember that. And if you still think people don't have their own crap and they're too busy judging you, well that's you being very self-centred and you think the world revolves around you, revolves around you, and it doesn't. The world doesn't revolve around you. We are tiny little specks of sand in a huge universe, in a galaxy. And on Earth, we're still little dots. So, just take those pointers in mind and embrace how wonderful you are and how to help with this. Podcasts, podcasts, books, all these little things. You absorb knowledge and info into your head. Getting different perspectives. Ever since I started the reading, taking reading seriously, helped me change my mindset about people and about things differently. Because one line in a book can change your whole perspective. And that's powerful. So podcast books. So that was just to summarise everything, ladies and gents. I hope you found that useful. Embrace the real you, because actually no one cares what you're doing. Anyway, enjoy today's chat. Really important to get that message out there. And have a lovely weekend. And see you next week.